it is time. So neighbor, and, and I don't even know the song. Well, no, I guess I do know this song. Uh, but I love this band. This is, to me, this is the most promising jam band out there. Um, and I knew Ricky, who plays keys. He's in Pink Talking Fish. Uh, and during the pandemic, I started kind of following what they were doing. They were, they were playing shows without an audience in Boston. And Ricky and I started talking. And then, you know, I just expressed interest in working with them when when shows came back and that's what we've been doing i absolutely i absolutely love this band it reminds me of you know um i'm old enough to i i was a grateful dead fan that when everybody you know fish was blowing up and everyone was like you got to see fish and Mm -hmm. to me everyone was saying oh fish they're a grateful dead ripoff right yeah, I, so I didn't like that. I idea. think Neighbor <laughs> is kind of getting that, you know, people are saying that about Neighbor being a fish ripoff. Maybe they're saying that because of the instrumentation, okay. maybe the setup on stage. But um, but these guys write songs. You know, they write songs, and the improvisation is really really good. Uh, they did a they did it at I we had a show with them in Brooklyn Bowl in February and. He did a 20 minute jam that just blew me away. Wow. So I, I absolutely love these guys. I'm glad you've got them on here because I think they deserve, they will get a wider audience, but I think they deserve it faster than, than they're getting it. Right. Well, let's go ahead and check it out. It's a neighbor with You Could Be Mine. Sorry, baby, I won't be at home tonight. I know that you're lonely, but I'm like home it's just a matter of time. Yep. Working hard on the road, don't stop or put it on the line. It's the people that you meet from the bar to the street, getting high, getting low, brings you back to the show, and I know that you could be mine. Yeah. You're right. Good songwriting. Really good songwriting, but then, you know, kind of like Fish, who also has great songwriting, they'll go off on a 10-minute improv jam. Nice. That is just not, it's not just new. It's, you know, it's interesting and it's good. Sometimes I know you're right, but I still fight and light your fuse. It uh, has that New Orleans sound to it, uh, though, uh, which yeah, I do yeah, like about it. It has that, uh, yeah, sure, the keys. yeah, his voice too um, has that uh, New Orleans band sound uh, that I yeah. tend to like. So. Yeah, it has a really nice blend of Americana with jam band sensibilities, but they're really mm-hmm. polished about it. And I wanted to get our little stop in there before I, I know he's getting ready to play lead. So I just wanted to say that because yeah, it, <laughs> it could just totally change. So we uh, opened up for Pink Talking Fish did, at the yeah. Norva mm-hmm. um, in Norfolk, which was fun. And uh, their bass player, Eric, uh, was very, very kind. And I think also does a great job helping to manage and book that band. It's mm-hmm. my understanding. So, Yeah, I, I love Eric. He's he's incri- I knew I knew Eric from the Particle days. He was in Particle. Yep. Which oh, yeah. I remember that band. 20 years ago. Yeah, I liked them a lot. Yeah, me too.
really full sound. I think it's time that we leave our past behind. Take a new kind of sun from the top, but we can start to unwind. They keep they keep getting better too. This is already this is 2020, right? So yeah, yeah. They just every time I see them, they keep getting better. But you could be mine. Hey, you could be mine. You could be mine. Sometimes I get confused. I'm like a dog. Very nice. Yeah, that was a nice short one. That was like the like I couldn't find a song that was less than like uh, they only have really full shows mm -hmm. uh, yeah. as any recording, so it was hard for me to find. And then also, uh, you know, um, I really think that they remind me of this band called American Babies, which was with Tom Hamilton. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, reminds me a lot of that band as well. Yeah, Joe Joe Russo played drums with American Babies. Um. I think it was a member and then it was more intermittent but yeah and uh i just saw that neighbor played a really big show at the peach festival not too long ago and yeah. uh, i do know that that festival seems to be a taste maker for up-and-coming bands in that oh, yeah. circuit so uh i'm sure that we'll be seeing more from them uh don't they have some uh don't they have any shows coming up uh with you howie yeah um we just announced some shows in uh, a show in D.C. at the Hamilton Live and in outside of Philadelphia at the Ardmore Music Hall. And that's coming up in the beginning of November. And then um, we're, we actually, well, um, I probably should announce it. I should not announce it yet. But oh. um, but there'll be, there's a New York City show coming up as well. And we got some things coming up in 2023. But I think, you know, similar to Frasco, it feels like the next 12 months is going to be big for that band. That's great. Definitely. And I'm sure with someone like you, uh, you know, helping them out, there's no way that they can fail. <laughs> well, thank you. I mean, yeah, I think they've got a, a nice network. They've got good representation. Um, you know, so they, they've got, they've got a definite shot. Hi, this is Mike with galaxy jams reacts. We hope that you enjoyed that react video. Be sure to check out the links below of when we're going to be live streaming our next show and also how to watch full episodes. Please hit that subscribe button. Every single one helps.